maybe you're choosing it. Now the star here is hope, fear. It's not hope. It's, it's no fears, rather. It's all hope. It's healing. It's a really wonderful card, to say the very least. The seven of swords. That's taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, doing something, you know, sneakily. Um, and then underneath that is the Queen of Swords. You guys could be seeing an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. But the focus that I'm seeing here has to do with dreams, hopes. You know, the star represents all of our aspirations, the things that we go for. And yeah, I'm kind of getting this vibe that some of us, some of you guys out here, you know, it's... I don't think it's that you cho you're choosing your comfort zone, to be honest. I take it back. For some of you guys, it just may be very hard to break free from this gilded cage that you set for yourself to keep yourself safe from pain. Because, of course, the star is healing. And with hope, there is healing. Now, the heart of your reading is the Nine of Pentacles, which I will show you in a second. Um, which indicates kind of, you know, the single card. You being on your own, taking care of yourself, you know being responsible for yourself, independence, having your own back, you know, that stuff. That's good, right? Everybody needs to be self-reliant, self, -reliant, self you know, they need to have their own thing. And I feel like this is you guys. You guys are really solid on your own, you know? And I feel like you guys have became, you know, self-reliant. You didn't, you don't feel like you need anyone. And going outside of that, out, that realm of, people that's a little bit of a comfort zone violation so i feel like you guys have really worked on doing things your own, on your own without trusting anyone because you can trust yourself right or can you because of course right if we don't have if you if we have some sort of situation some sort of issues it's just underlying within ourselves right we can trust ourselves to do the things that we want to do but it also means that we don't trust ourselves when it comes to relationships. Now, what's crossing that is the King of Cups, which could be very well you guys. It could be a Scorpio or a Cancer, but it also could be anybody that you have your eyes set on. If you know who you love or know who you romantically, you would like to be romantically involved with. And if you don't have anyone in mind, this is just plain old you being in a romantic setting. This is you mastering your emotions, how you feel, and completely and utterly knowing what you want and being content. The thing that's, the reason why it's crossing you right now is that this gilded cage is the kind of, is the, is, is the cocoon for the pain that you've experienced, that you're still experiencing. I feel like, honestly, for some of you guys out here, you guys are still suffering a great deal of pain because of some sort of either disappointment, heartaches, breakup, something. Because this King of Cups is loving, he's sweet, and he heals through his love. And you guys are kind of keeping that tight and close together. But the thing is, it's not that you want to anymore. I feel like you guys are really tired of living that lifestyle of not being able to trust someone, you know, having a very hard time being open and emotionally vulnerable with a partner. Because the King of Cups, he's open, you know, and, you know, he's emotionally open, if not, you know, verbally anything else. He's, um, he's emotionally open. And I feel like this kind of, you know, military sort of box that you've put yourself into this comfort zone that's you know padded with cushioned walls and ready for any sort of you know craziness to come at you is to obviously to protect this part of you that's been damaged and it's not damaged goods like i hate when people say that's so rude to me like oh does that person damage goods i've had somebody i have had a caller literally say that to me and i'm like why would you say that why would you say that to somebody Nobody, there's no such thing as damaged goods. Somebody could be hurt and therefore they received some damage, but that's not, they're not damaged goods. So when I say damaged guys, I'm not saying that you are a damaged good. You are not perfect. You, you know, you're just, you're just, you're not quality. That's not what I'm saying. You've been badly injured and emotionally. 
And how you've dealt with it was by gaining your independence, which is great. But now I feel like for some of you guys, you don't want to be that person that's just alone, self-reliant all the time. I feel like you do want to give something, like like let loose a little bit, drop the, you know, let your hair down. And I feel like you do want to have someone that's in your life that actually sees that and doesn't take advantage of it. Because this is what you're doing. The Nine of Pentacles, King of, King of Cups. You are building a fortress around your, your, your soft, sensitive spot, which, you, which is understandable. But I do think that you do realize that this, this, the, this pain is keeping you from other things. Not forgiving and releasing it is in is not allowing you to grow, and I feel like you realize that with this Ten of Wands and this Three of Swords. Now the past here it does indicate that there was a difficult situation that you were keeping the balance of, or there was something that you, that was going on that was really freaking difficult to handle, but you had to. You had to eventually. You couldn't keep the sword up forever. You couldn't. Continue to put your stick your fingers in the air and go la la la. I can't hear or see anything. You had to deal with it, and the, that was the most hardest part, dealing with it. And you're dealing with it. Three of swords right here. I would say it was fresh, but I feel like it brought up some older issues because the swords don't bleed, and you know the heart is not bleeding. The heart is beating or you know can despite the condition that it's in that means it's been there for a long time it's healed around the wound these are just things that are still tender and, and hard and you know difficult to touch because obviously they're not meant to be there and when they're when they are touched they are triggered and i feel like this is your situation something has triggered a pain that's kept you feeling like you weren't able to be the king of cups or to allow love in so you're healing it now the ace the star is showing me this the star and the three of swords you don't get the three of swords in your present and not heal you're you've already done the denial part the denial part is shown here the seven of swords you had to be super honest with yourself with what you were denying and you had to be open and you know what you know you are more li than likely manifesting goodness to come into your life why because you are healing that part of you that hurts so badly that's been giving you so much trouble for so long Pisces you've been through so much you have gone through the ten of wands with this ten, with this three swords that's how I definitely know that this is news it's, this is fresh in regards to this pain coming back up, obviously, right? But this, this has been around for some times. And it's only now that you realize what is blocking. It's blocking your heart. It's blocking that flow. It's not giving it proper oxygen and proper, you know, whatever the heart does is blood. Pump it, obviously. Circulate throughout the body it's keeping the fluctuation going yes you found your independence yes you know that you're strong in your in, in, in every aspect man male or female you know that part it's allowing yourself to be that soft person again that's the hard part knowing what's wrong knowing and facing the pains and this go back from this go back this goes back a long time it goes back a long time some of you guys back when you were children but it's acknowledging that you know what is going on now which allows you the, the the time now to to deal with it to handle it to love on yourself forgive the situation forgive the people involved and move forward and I do see you putting a lot of concentration on healing yourself, building yourself up, building yourself back together, but you had to knock yourself down to the very core, to the very absolute essence of the problem, to the core of it. That's where the sun is shining here, this like little light. You've got the eight of pentacles, you know it's a lot of work ahead. 
that is going to be work that's going to mean something. It's going to, it's building you up again. It's starting from the freaking bottom up. Yes, it's going to take some work, but what isn't? So I get this wanting to be free, wanting to be to start a new beginning, a real new beginning. Not a, oh, okay, let's start something new, but with the baggage that you had. This is a, this is a, this is the things that you've learned rather than the baggage that you're carrying. The hurt, the pain. You take what you need, and that pain is something you just don't need, and you know that you don't need it. That's why you're looking at dropping this. That's why you're looking at what you've got carrying, what you've been carrying for so long. Being a Pisces, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. Sometimes it's hard for people to understand. And I don't think anybody will understand. I don't think anyone's capable of understanding. But that doesn't, even the fucking Pisces themselves don't understand it. But this doesn't mean we have to live by the, oh, nobody understands it, so why bother fixing it? No. And I feel like this is what this is what's going on. You're saying, you know what? Just because I don't get what my energies are like, just because I've been through so much shit, does that mean it will I will allow that to allow this pain to live my life? Does that mean that you will allow this burden to keep you from being the best you that you can possibly be. So yeah, I do see the emperor as your outcome because you guys are taking a look at your heart and you're really honestly looking at it, being absolutely clear and honest with yourself. Because the, the, only, the only person you're damaging by lying to yourself is you. So yeah, I do feel like that seven of swords, the queen of the queen of swords, you have been dodging it for a little bit set two of swords but you honest to yourself now and that honesty is only going to make you stronger and it's going to require you to be honest the whole way through no no escapism no nothing just looking at it being real with it embracing what's wrong and then releasing it So let's go ahead and see what's going on with your romance angels for this week, for this next couple weeks. And I do feel like too, guys, as well, this will help you in your relationships, period. If you have, if you're in a relationship with someone already, it, I feel like it, for some of you guys, it really has been difficult to be able to love someone as deeply as you can but now I feel like this person whoever opened this door the relationships that you're in because this is affecting your seventh house now well no it's your eighth intimacy romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring and that goes to show I feel like this whoever came into your life right had allowed you to open up to see what you've been holding in, what you've been keeping to yourself, what you've been not necessarily hiding, but what you've been protecting. So let's take a look at your messenger of messenger oracle for the week, for the next couple of weeks, rather. Be patient. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. What does that mean? Well, right now, you've got, you just realize you have an, a wound that you have to attend to. You don't want to speed that process up. The Eight of Pentacles is focused in working on his craft, his skill. He's being attentive to every little detail that he's working in, putting his effort and time into. 
He's not. He's making every last second of his of his life, his breath, every ounce of his ability to to the fullest and utter extent. He's maximizing to the absolute core. And right now, the only way you can do that is allowing yourself time. It's allowing yourself to be that way. The process is not going to be going through lightning fast. As a matter of fact, if anybody has any serious stuff, intimately, sexually, abuse, any of some, any of any kind of any sort, please, I would highly suggest you seeing a therapist, seeing someone that can help you. But I do get the sense, guys, that you've got some serious stuff that you've been carrying for ages, and it's going to take time. It's going to take time to explore these feelings, these real pains, these real things that you experience. Underneath that, you have a loving person that wants to express and show the world who they really are. Right now, they're buried under this, and it's going to take some time to dig out the rubble, and that's okay. Do not rush the process. I'm, I, I have... I have problems. I have I've suffered with depression myself. And it's not diagnosed. Um, my, my, my therapist has told me that I have depression-like symptoms. And he's asked me if I wanted to be on medication. I said no. Because I know what my problems are. I know what I need to do to fix them. And you guys know how to do that too, some of you. And some of you guys, if you don't, please get help. But I understand that all of that, all those years, all the years I've gone through with experiencing the things I've experienced had to take time for me to be okay and unravel all the knots I've built within myself. I'm still doing it. But it's gonna take time. And that is okay because there's no time constraint there's no rushing be real in the moment be real when you heal yourself because then you will find that you will make real results and have real blessings and in a way this is a blessing in disguise because when you look back at this moment you're going to think damn I've gone through so much and healed myself through so much that I can be the best version of me and look and see everything in my past and say, it is what it is, and I am what I am, so let me be what I can be.